you on a tour through our tiny home shuttle bus conversion. Um, we named him Apollo 616 and we're very proud. We bought this bus six months ago. We've been on the road for almost two months and it took us about a total of four months to make this renovation happen. So come in. <laughs> when we first bought this bus, it was a old wheelchair transit bus. It had four seats in it here. It had a wheelchair lift in it there. Um, and me and Jeremy just like had a whole bunch of dreams and plans for what we could do with it. So what you're seeing now is our final product and I'm going to take you through it. In the front half, we have the bulk of our water reserve. We have three jugs there. We have one jug on top of Pumpkin's Kitty Litter and one under our sink. So in total, we have a hundred liters of water, correct? Correct. Correct. So we think that every week we use at least 20 liters for our shower and 80 for drinking water slash dishes and anything else we might need water for. That on average lasts us up to a week or for cooking a lot at home and drinking a lot of water and taking a lot of showers, maybe only four days. And that is behind the driver's chair and on the other side of the wall to our shower. Our shower heater is a little awesome on-demand shower heater that Honestly, at first I didn't know how we'd have a shower in here and how it would work, but this heater has been a great solution for us. It just draws water out of one of these jugs and immediately pumps it heated to our shower head. So that's like amazing. We keep our boosted boards up here. They hang there and it's like a perfect storage place for them. We can plug them in and plug them into our AC power with our inverter and they charge, so that's awesome. Um, you guys are like, okay, Laura, take me past the water and the boosted boards. I don't really care. Oh, one other very glamorous detail of the bus. Pumpkin's kitty litter, our little kitty cat, is up at the front and that does a great job of separating kind of her washroom from our living space because we have this curtain. We can separate the front cab out and this is for both smell and for stealth mode, mostly for stealth mode. And it is Velcros. It's like a magic trick. It is. <laughs> we try to keep Pumpkin's kitty litter very clean, of course, so that, you know, it doesn't smell too much. Shit happens. Anyways, I'm gonna keep going. This is our washroom. So all of that water that's on the other side of the wall, for when we wanna take a shower, it comes over to this side. So come over here. So we have our shower. We got a little track that we installed on the ceiling. It's snug, but it does the trick. Um, and as you can see, I can stand under the shower, which is amazing. The basin, this guy, the tub that the water goes into is was actually just a $40 uh, laundry basin that we just kind of reinforced and secured in. And it's worked amazing. And then we just have this little drain, the water just drains right down to the ground. We use um, all natural soaps and conditioners so that when the water drains out to the ground, it's not an issue. This beautiful device is our toilet um, and it is a nature's head composting toilet. It does a great job at doing its job. Uh, as far as a composting toilet on a bus goes, I honestly never thought I would be so happy with it and I'm very happy with it. 100% recommend having your own toilet if you can, not having to rely on gyms and gas stations and public restaurant or restrooms is a really, really nice privilege. And it's something that makes this space really feel like a lot more of a home. Because if you have an upset stomach, it's nice to have your own bathroom. <laughs> but that is our washroom. Uh, we have this kind of rack here that's just secured in. And when we drive around, things do rattle a bit but it everything stays um, nothing falls so that works and that's been our washroom so far this is our kitchen <laughs> great thing about bus tours is you don't have to walk far for this tour before we moved into the bus when we bought the bus it did not come with any cabinets or structure for cabinets so this was a challenge that we really had to figure out um, and we had the help of my dad and his business because we could not make these metal cabinets with our own bare hands so there's tons of screws holding this in and a lot of pl premium glued and screwed all the way and the thing has been sturdy it holds all of our pots and pans and it's also our pantry so we love it 
thank you, Dad. <laughs> so this is our <laughs> nice big countertop. Right now, it's like, where's the stove? Um, and it's under the bed right now. Uh, and when we pull it out, it's a camping stove. It just hooks up to this. And then all of a sudden we have our three burner camping stove. But what's honestly really great about having the camping stove is that we can put it away. And now I have this big open counter space that I can do a lot of different things on, including if I'm making a big meal, prep everything first, get that all ready, and then bring out the stove and cook it. And it just kind of helps make things feel more spacious. Like I'm not even kidding. This is more counter space than we had in our studio apartment in Toronto. So, you know, bless life ain't too bad. The sink has a 20 liter water jug underneath it. And then it has a smaller water jug that the water drains into that we empty. So you just flick the switch. So yeah, the sink is awesome. We do our dishes here. It's small, like it's not a big sink, but it does the trick um, and we're figuring it out. But yes. All right, um, so that's basically the kitchen. Oh right, the fridge. I didn't clean the fridge. Uh, anyways, this fridge was sponsored by Mr. Heater and it has been an incredible addition to the bus. Since moving into the bus, I feel like one of the things, two of the things that could make it seem very hard to transition into a bus would be not having a fridge and not having a proper toilet. It is very, very well insulated. You can see these really thick walls. So when it gets down to temperature, it stays down at temperature. Um, it's from Basecamp or Mr. Heater and it was sponsored. So thank you so much. This was our dream fridge. And after two months of living in this bus, I can honestly say that without this, I would not be a happy camper. <laughs> It's been amazing and I can eat all of the foods that I want to eat because of it. So thank you. We highly recommend. It's extremely energy efficient and we've got a lot of good things to say about it, but we will do a full fridge review, fridge and shower heater review, um, another video. It just slides into this nook. It can open. I love it. <laughs> this is like a little thing where we fold all of our stuff and that just stops stuff from moving when we're driving and it works well and it's accessible. We can talk about the booth. So this booth um, was very important to me and Jeremy. From day one of knowing each other, we've loved to go to cafes or little diners and grab a black coffee and just talk about our lives and things that we want to do and you know, just like what's going on in life. It's always been a real bonding point for us. So we really wanted to create our own booth in our bus so that we could play backgammon and have coffee and sit at a table that wasn't us sitting cross-legged on the bed. It's actually our old bed mattress from Toronto repurposed into these cushions. I cut up the bed mattress and then we got this pineapple fabric and stapled it onto some plywood. Uh, so they work great and then it lifts up and it's storage. And then on this side um, underneath here is a little tiny safety box for our little tiny kitten pumpkin she's in there pumpkin's in the box right now but she's deep in it so i don't know if you'll be able to see that box is insulated so that it stays cooler so it stays quieter and it has a no dog sign on it so that the dogs keep out we love dogs but you know the cat's got to have a safe place so then i guess this brings us to the bedroom <laughs> I sleep over here. As you can see, it is a smaller nook because of this wall. Um, we have a TV, which is awesome. We download Netflix and stuff at cafes, and then we can watch it later at night. We obviously don't have cable or anything like that, and we can hook our laptops up to it. I love it. It is a double bed. No, is it a double? Yeah, it's a double, which is only slightly smaller than a queen size bed. I think it's friggin' sweet because it can go back into a couch and when it's a couch, this whole aisleway is open, which means when this door is open, it's just like nice and clear. We can have friends over, we can socialize, and then when everybody goes home at night, we can just pull it out into a bed and kick back and relax, and there's still enough space to like walk around and get up. Of course, I have to jump over Jeremy. <laughs> and then as you can see, we have bedroom storage above us. So these, have a key, 
So if we were to leave, we could leave valuables in here and take the key. Same deal with these cabinets as the cabinets over there with the brackets and sealing them on to the wall and the roof. Um, we just had to get creative because of it being fiberglass, but they've been extremely sturdy. They work great. This cabinet actually is a much bigger opening than those ones. So we can fit bigger things into this one. Um, but as far as the bulk of our clothing goes and our closet goes, um, that is right here. And you know, it looks, honestly, it looks pretty hectic because <laughs> there's a lot going on but it's actually looking the most efficient that it ever has since we lived in the bus. Me and Jeremy are getting the most organized we ever have since living in this bus because you just have to, especially with your clothes and all of your little personal items because otherwise they just end up everywhere and the bus feels like a mess. So us having this closet space has been wonderful and to not have to rely on putting stuff under the bed and in these cabinets has been great um, and makes honestly just like getting dressed quickly much more of a normal feeling than having to like pull up the bed or you know go around to the back of the bus and go under the bed to pull out your clothing bin. Initially we were sort of tossing and turning over whether or not we wanted this space to be for a fireplace which now seems hilarious because it's been so hot in here I could not imagine having dedicated like four square feet to a fireplace area that we could only use in the winter, which we're hardly going to be in very cold weather. So very happy that this is a closet. We have a toaster oven for if we want to make anything that requires a toaster oven. Like we've made a tiny pizza in it. I have made garlic cheese bread in it. I've actually even made brownies in it once, which you know we don't do often because it requires a fair bit of power. It's made me feel like I still have a little oven. So that's nice. Like on Thanksgiving, I'll cook like a little turkey breast in it. But yeah, um, oh, I feel like a big part of the things that you're seeing with the decorations right now is Velcro. All of these paintings have been Velcroed and it's worked great. Like that's like a decently weighted painting and it stays when our bus is like earth quaking down the road. So, and this one, Velcro. Pumpkin and Jeremy, my favorites. As far as internet goes in our wonderful home, you can't have a fixed router. Um, you can't have, you know, the wireless internet that we all get so comfy and used to in our homes. So we're relying off of cell phone internet. And this phone here, which is also Velcroed, <laughs> is our third phone line that we have another 11 gigs of internet on. We use this internet along with my phone's internet and Jeremy's phone's internet to run our business and to live here and to sort of feel like we have some extra data because here in Canada there's not very good data plans so if you're in the States that's not an issue. Anywhere else in the world I'm not really sure what your deal will be but getting a third phone plan if you have an old phone like this kicking around um, isn't a bad idea. At the end of the day, it saves us more money than if we were to go way over our data and start getting those outrageous um, charges. So we have a fan that we installed. It's the Max Air fan. Nice. Wow. If we're cooking, we'll open up this window and it will draw a nice steady flow of air through and out. And you can see, we just have like this little remote. So look, we'll change directions. And now air is blowing in, which feels lovely because it's warm in here if you can't tell by my face. You can even set it to a temperature and leave it on automatic. And when the bus goes above that temperature, it will automatically open up and kick in and start drawing air through. Sometimes it like fools your brain into thinking it's air conditioning um, and Which it's wonderful. Which is great actually. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's great. Show where our electrical is? Yes, I can show that. Jeremy and Johnny were the ones that installed our electrical system. Jeremy designed this whole system, the whole how the bus was going to work. My kind of job was to think about the interior design and the functionality and that side of it and Jeremy's job was to figure out how the hell we were going to wire this place because the electrical really overwhelmed me. And honestly, at the start, it was pretty like overwhelming for you too, right, Jeremy? Like, Oh yeah, I mean, it's it looks extremely complicated when you know nothing. Yeah. So trying to learn 
how to do it is very overwhelming sometimes. Yeah, absolutely. And the internet and forums, and that is what, like, you just, like, threw yourself into it to learn it, right? Yeah. And Jeremy, I'm sure we'll do a video on that another time on the electrical. Our inverter allows us to run household appliances like a blender or the kettle or the toaster oven runs off of the inverter. Our TV runs off the inverter. Um, things like our fridge and the fan and the toilet and our outlets, though, they are all 12 volts. So we have as many things on 12 volts as we can. Uh, but there's certain things that we just need an inverter for so we have that and it is a 1500 watt inverter so we can run things up to 1500 watts below the inverter is this big beautiful metal battery box my dad thought it out very well and uh, it's perfect for what we need it's very safe and the batteries are ventilated because we have to add water to them and they give off gases because they're inside it's better than being outside as far as being able to maintenance them goes sliding door Washroom, private, for pretty good reasons. <laughs> it's all right, if we know you and we like you, we'd let you use our shower. Toilet's just ours. <laughs> but yeah, guys, this is our bus, this is our home. We've been living in this for, we've actually been living in it since like halfway through the renos. So we've been living in it for several months, but we've been on the road for seven weeks now, almost two months. <sighs> Sorry, the camera stopped and Pumpkin wanted to be loved. <laughs> so we have been living in this bus for seven weeks now on the road with you know each other and our cat and doing work and meeting people and making new friends and driving all the way across Canada from Ontario to Vancouver we're gonna be going further now and down to LA and then you know eventually back to Ontario but this has been like beyond beyond incredible and surreal a growing experience so this is our bus this is our home. Me and Jeremy built it with our own two hands and we really believe that if you are determined and if you want to be free and you want to make your own life, you can absolutely build your own version of this that makes the most sense for you. And if you have any questions about that, ask us. We can try to help you or point you in the direction of people that can help you because this life is an incredible life to be living and it's one that I think you want to live if you're watching this video. So get on it, buy that bus. We're gonna have a today. What day is it today? January 26th. We are getting a bus today. Today. But first, this train. We had no clue how to do any of this before we started. If we did it, you can do it. Thank you for watching this. We hope that you enjoy our home. And if you like this video, just give it a thumbs up. Comment with, you know, what you're doing, if you're looking at getting a bus, how your renos are going, and subscribe if you want to see more because we're going to be coming out with videos every Sunday on bus life and how it's going for us. Come here, pumpkin.